Can you imagine living in a world of light pulses that is only there because you see it? It's exactly this, very simply expressed, that is claimed by scientists of quantum mechanics. Some scientists do not only claim this, there are several proofs for the fact that our world is in truth, probably nothing else than a well-made illusion. The theory of the universe as a gigantic hologram wins at present extremely impetus. Some experts see this model of our reality also already as proven. But what does this mean for you and me, if we are both observers in a hollow universe? We will dive into this exciting question today and we will clarify why everything is perhaps not quite as fake as some scientists make it out to be. World of Quanta Is our cosmos just an illusion? Famous quantum experiments like the double slit experiment or also Schrodinger's cat prove that our reality in the world of the smallest particles becomes, well, let's say, a little bit fuzzy. It's in such a way that quanta do not determine themselves according to these experiments, what they represent exactly so long until they are measured or observed. Which form they then take also depends on which expectation a measuring person has. A technical device will always be neutral here, but it is operated by a human being with thoughts and wishes which can take influences on the shaping of the quanta again. In the double slit experiment, light particles kept this undefined, scattered state so long until a measuring instrument was directed to the light beam. By this measurement alone, the scattering suddenly became a beam of light. In everyday life, this would mean that our consciousness and our observation contribute to the fact that previously undefined light particles become solid rays. And so, our consciousness is something connected with values, expectations, the conditionings of our brain, and also aspects like the imagination and fantasy. On the level of quantum physics, all these aspects would have therefore a direct influence on the shaping of the matter and events in our world. Quantum mechanics describe the world, meanwhile, as a big programming which is co-designed in certain ways by us humans. The basis of the whole could be a holographic universe that is more mobile and more variable than classical physics assumed so far. Hologram – A World of Possibilities Atoms consist of quanta. Quanta are basically nothing else than photons or light particles. An atom is composed of these light particles. Sometimes they form electrons, sometimes neutrons or even protons, each of which have certain properties. The dance of these particles forms atoms, finally molecules, and then matter. According to quantum theory, it is a proven fact that an atom scatters in space and is pointless until a conscious observer perceives it. So we live in a world of flexible light shaped by consciousness. If no consciousness determines the light particles, only innumerable undefined possibilities exist. As we know it, a hologram is a three-dimensional image created with the help of laser light. By a certain technique, a three-dimensional appearing picture with deceptively real-looking depths is created on a two-dimensional carrier medium. You know such holograms from credit cards or from art. A world-famous example of a hollow projection is Princess Leia from the first Star Wars movie. This example also shows very nicely how our universe can be a projection of a deeper and at the same time higher dimensional system. Where does the projection come from? According to quantum theory, the information to build the holographic universe comes from subatomic levels. An interesting phenomenon occurs there, which was studied by the German physicist Werner Heisenberg. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, named after him, states that the exact position and velocity of a subatomic particle becomes increasingly difficult to determine once a certain limit is reached. At some point, particles even smaller than quanta behave so erratically that they can no longer be measured. The more precisely scientists want to measure the position of a particle, the more uncertain the measurement becomes. Even the observing consciousness seems to have no more power on these levels. Also, on the upper levels, 
where particles still show a certain constancy, there is the circumstance that the behavior of the particle is influenced only by the intention of the measurement. So also here, there is no determinacy by any system. The phenomena are flexible. Thus, at the subatomic level, nature becomes fuzzy. The information for the construction of the holographic universe comes from these mysterious deeper levels, which can represent higher dimensions at the same time. These dimensions are not under our feet or above our heads, but they work everywhere into the world of appearances. The Hollow Universe Scientifically The theory that the universe is a hologram goes back to the ideas of physicists such as Juan Maldacena, Gerard de Hooft, and Leonard Susskind, and has been the subject of serious scientific discussion since the 1990s. The idea is based on the so-called ADS-CFT correspondence, which states that a certain kind of space-time in quantum field theory is mathematically equivalent to a lower dimensional space-time. The higher dimensional space-time is completely contained in a lower dimensional holographic surface. So the idea is that the three dimensions of space and the dimension of time that we perceive actually come from a two-dimensional space that contains all the information and properties of the universe. Basically, the ADS-CFT correspondence describes the possible physical connection between space-time and quantum field theory. Thus, the holographic model of the universe can be seen as a first connection of quantum mechanics and the old classical disciplines of physics dealing with the large and measurable phenomena of the universe. Newtonian physics and Einstein's theory of relativity describe what we generally call reality as well as the objects, forces, and interactions in the cosmos. Einstein wanted to find a unified field theory all his life. In this equation, all phenomena and forces of the universe should be summarized. However, he did not succeed in his lifetime. If we want to understand the structure of the cosmos, we must look into the world of the smallest particles and into the fuzziness of Werner Heisenberg. The regularities of the fundamental levels are not known to us up to now. In fact, however, very many so far unsolved mathematical equations make sense if we start from a two-dimensional projection surface. Nevertheless, the theory of the holographic universe, as well as the idea of the ADS-CFT correspondence, are so far not recognized facts, but pure conjecture, which must be explored by further investigations and observations. So, what is real and what is not? Think of the idea of the holographic universe as an image displayed on a 2D television screen, even though the original image is in 3D. We can see everything on the screen, even though it doesn't reflect all the details of the original image. Applied to our reality, we can also say that the three-dimensional world as you perceive it can be an optical illusion. Realistically, you don't even know exactly what is actually happening or existing outside of your perception. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, but I can see this, describe this, or even feel this. Yet you must realize that you may not be seeing everything that is around you at this moment. Your visual impression consists only of light impulses that are picked up by your eyes and translated by your brain into a visual impression. In the end, what you see is an interpretation of your brain. Surely something exists outside of you and your perception. The light that your eyes catch comes from somewhere, and even the fact that you can feel the tabletop in front of you and that you can thunder against a street lamp does not mean that reality out there is real or only as you perceive it. The impression of solid matter arises in the final effect only by extremely narrow or condensed oscillations. According to quantum theory, the table that appears to be solid and definite dissolves as soon as no one is looking, or it turns into a fuzzy two-dimensional form. This would mean that the hologram is incredibly flexible and a trained consciousness should be able to form matter only through the mind. Nevertheless, it cannot be denied that this world 
and this reality exist. Illusion, in this case, means only that the nature of this world is not quite as classical natural science has long imagined. And it would be possible for us to travel through an incredibly flexible holographic world by our choices. As humans, we could then have more options and power than we have been aware of. Consciousness Decides So, we can state that our consciousness, as well as our sensory outputs, are crucial in maintaining and moving the hologram according to quantum theory. Presumably, we are all somehow tinkering together to create one big hologram. Because it's no doubt that also your neighbor can perceive the cherry tree in your garden or your bicycle in front of the house. Of course, there is still the exciting question, which living beings now have consciousness and thus are co-creators of the processes in a holographic universe? And what happens if no observers or living beings are there anymore? Which living beings have consciousness is a complex issue that divides the world of science. So far, there is not even a unified definition of consciousness, but it's generally seen as the ability to have experiences and to perceive oneself as existing. Many researchers believe that consciousness is limited to certain higher creatures such as mammals, birds, and perhaps some fish and invertebrate species, which in any case have more complex brains. Other views assume that basically the whole universe must be woven through with consciousness or even some kind of intelligence. The consciousness could provide for the fact that the light projection originates and that it's kept alive all the same whether humans or animals are there or not. There is an interesting fact which speaks for it. For we know that the universe was there long before human observers existed. When the Big Bang happened, there was no organic living being on the spot which could have measured and could have determined the event thereby. At this point, it's to be reminded again that quantum theory says that there are only undefined possibilities without observers. Before creation started, about 13.8 billion years ago, the potential of the universe is supposed to have been present in a singularity which corresponded exactly to this state of the undefined possibilities. Then, there was a bang and the cosmos was born. Now, according to the idea of quantum mechanics, a measurement and with it an observer must have caused the event of the Big Bang and with it the shaping of creation. In many spiritual traditions or secret teachings of the antiquity, the consciousness of the whole cosmos is a basic assumption. Thus, the world as we know 